How far back does that go down the highway? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> still going, still going. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines here in the Five Builders One City. Yes, we are going to be working on a fix your city stroke traffic fix for this episode. If you're really excited to see that, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like as well. That is always greatly appreciated. So I've just been enjoying this city for a few moments and I haven't seen it. I followed the odd video here and there from the other members of Five Builders One City, but there's so much going on. It is a fantastic city. Now, what do we normally do when we have a city to traffic fix? Well, First of all, we take a look at it as it as it's set up at the moment. And the way the other guys have been building this city, uh, they do have traffic despawning turned on. Yes, but for those that know me well, we like to make things extra hard for ourselves. And we're going to turn traffic despawning off. And we're going to see if the whole city just falls to rack and ruin. And if it does, hopefully it does a little bit. <laughs> if it does then we've got something to fix. So let's just take a look. Let's just come out of this mode here and we'll go into our traffic view. So with despawning on, so for those that don't know, when you use Traffic Manager, the mod, you have the option of turning despawning on or off. Uh, having too much traffic automatically just disappear into the ether, never to bother you. That's the way the game normally just works. That's vanilla sort of game mechanics. Uh, but we are going to toggle that in a moment. But yeah, as you can see, 81%. We do have a few hot spots. I mean, it's just busy. They're not too bad coming through here. It's been set up really well, which is what you would expect. Uh, also, I don't know who built which area. Um, so, you know, I've got no qualms. If things need to be changed, we will be changing them. I don't, so I'm not going to worry about hurting anybody's feelings because I don't know whose feelings I'm going to be hurting. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so some figures just for comparison at the end. We've got 81% traffic flow, which is good. Let's have a look at our transport. So just over 2,000 residents using the mass transit and under 1,000 tourists. So we're going to keep that in mind as well. And then what have we got? 14 million in the bank. So we're making tons of money. It's absolutely no problem at all 37,000 population okay there we go so what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna put it in a view like that we're gonna click this button here toggle automatic vehicle despawning currently enabled it is now off that's no despawning there we go uh, hard mode bigger traffic jams and then we're gonna see how bad this gets Okay, so it's been about, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes, something like that. And we do seem to have a lot of red over our city here. Um, let's just take a look at what the percentage is now. 32%. Wow, wow, wow. That is pretty shocking. Let's uh, start up here. Yeah, we've got some fantastic traffic jams coming in here. This is what we like to see. So they're all coming in down here. They're all coming down this highway. This is all a bit of hawky balky lane switching. They're all coming off there, which is causing issues because they're all coming down here and hitting this junction. So this is causing a little bit of a problem. We've got the same coming the other way. How far back does that go down the highway? <laughs> Whoa, still going, still going. Can I go outside the city here if I do that? Yeah, put on the camera mod and you can just keep on going. Wow, how far to outside the city is that? over the hill and far away that is pretty bad so that's queuing in oh oh my goodness the death that's going on that's queuing in all the way down here we've got them all merging in then they're going through here and there's traffic coming from this way as well i don't need that one anymore and then they're all coming off down here okay so there's a lot of stuff going on a lot of stuff going on with the highway in this junction uh, our industry area pretty clogged up they're all coming around this roundabout and then a lot of them i think are trying to which way are they go in i've no idea i'd imagine a lot of these are trying to turn up there and get onto the highway and that's not very good um this is all getting stuck down here okay 
And that's it. Yeah, there we go. Nothing much. Nothing much. 30%. I think that's a good start to be going on with. So let's see if we can fix this up. Okay, so where shall we start? Well, if we look at all of this traffic up here, it's all running down this road all along here. And then it comes to this junction. Um, and there's a lot coming in from the other direction as well. So maybe this little spot here we could just take a look at. Um, I just want to make sure to see how this has been set up. So have you put... Yeah, so we've got lanes for off and for straight on. So I'm just wondering whether some of these cars might be getting stuck behind here wanting to get off um see so ideally i'd like to put this one down or this one up what road are we using here let's just have a look and i've got all sorts of different roads in here 3l concrete highway with barrier okay i'd like to make this a little bit wider if possible here to give a lane going off oh and we do actually have a four lane highway with a barrier so can i just squeeze that in there without too much conflict i can excellent and then what i'm going to do is then when we set this up now we've got a dedicated lane for coming off so anybody that doesn't want to go off there can easily use one of these lanes for going on that might just help alleviate this a little bit down here just a smidge a spot um, and then down here we've got these two lanes uh, we do have the option for these guys and girls to go straight over here which i've got to be honest not thinking that's a good idea um, i'm just looking at the road layout so if they came down here how else would they get into this area? They could turn right and then turn left further down, perhaps. Or they could come up here to this junction, wiggle their way through. That doesn't connect. So the only ways into this are off the highway up here. They could come down there, down this long road and come in this way. There's a lot of traffic there. I am just thinking we need to stop the... Am I on the right road here? Yeah, look, already, look. Some of them are coming down and going past. Excellent. Yeah, I feel like I want to stop these from going straight on on this one here. So we're going to turn that off and say you can only go left and right. Um, I believe there's some traffic lights here. We've got some time traffic lights. Let's just... Oh, my goodness me. There's a whole load of steps on those. I'm not going to mess with those too much. But what I might just change is let this one be a little bit longer. And you've got time traffic lights. I wonder if these are all linked together. Is there a way of telling if time traffic lights are linked together? I think the fact that I'm selecting that and it's showing all of these. All of these are linked together. And this one and this one. Well, flipping neck. I am certainly not going to be messing with those, but the fact that we've sorted this bit out means a lot of these have come in past, which hopefully will lessen the traffic. Um, mm. Okay, I've just been watching this traffic light set up. I know it's sort of hard to see at the top there. Hopefully we can zoom that in, but this is the uh, highway road coming in. And when it gets to step six, they just can't even move because look, they're just all blocking this up. It's just not going anywhere at all. Um, so I think in here we need to do a little bit of something, something. Let's get our junction restrictions. Yeah, that's what's happening. Look, that has got... That will just keep going whether this is blocked or not. So we're going to stop that there and stop that there. Immediately, that might just make a difference. Um, let's just get back to the traffic lights again. There we go. So when it gets to step six, keep an eye on how long this can move. So we're on step five, which is the opposite one. Step six. They're just literally not going anywhere. Okay, hang on. Let's just keep it going. There's a little bit more step six. He's going. Yeah, because they're basically all trying to come up here and there's just no room. So if we use this tool here and pick that piece of road. There's cars wanting to go everywhere. Yeah, they want to turn right and they just can't get in here. God, this is so blocked up. Although this has gone down a little bit now. Let's just let it run again for a second. Just want to see if there's any other problems that I'm missing here. Because they should... No, you see, that's going to fill up. And then this is going to go. And then they're not going to be able to go again, are they? Look. Yeah, they can't go again. Okay. So this isn't filtering out long enough down here. These are basically trying to go straight on. Then these are trying to go straight on. And we've got one lane doing two things over here. Oh, cardinal sin. So let's just check there's no nothing else set up. No, so we're going to do dedicated turning lanes there. So we've got one for left, one for straight on. So now cars coming down here. Um, I'm going to say no lane switch in there. You can pick your lane here. So any of these that come along that don't want to turn can take the lane that is set for them. 
And these are also traffic lights here, aren't they? Does this need to be a traffic light? I mean, there's not that many cars coming down here at all, is there? Let's remove this traffic light. Oh, that is part of the time traffic light sequence. Okay, how do I remove a traffic light from the time traffic light sequence? Because I've never done that before. If I try and just remove that, it will say no... Click on remove first. Am I going to completely mess all of this up? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a quick auto save. Have a sip of tea. And if I do mess it up, we can get it sorted. One sec. Let's just watch this a minute and see which step this is. Oh, here we go. Right. So we've got step seven there. And they're going. Yeah. Okay. Step eight. And it's also got a bit in step one as well. Right, okay. Hang on one second. I'm just wondering whether deleting the road <laughs> would be the easiest thing to remove the uh, traffic light from there. One sec. Oh, oh, oh. I think I may have uh, answered the question. I've stopped the set of traffic lights. And now we have this option here. Remove a junction from this traffic light. So I'm going to do that and click this one. That is now removed. Excellent. We can start that back up again. Good, good, good. So now, if we can turn off that traffic light. Ah, oh, excellent. And we're going to give that as giveaway. Aha! There we go. That should be much better. That person was very happy. There's no traffic lights anymore. So now, if we just let this run... Uh, oh, I'll tell you what's also going on here. Someone's set this up as well, haven't they, to keep going through? Oh, no, they haven't. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Okay, so let's just leave this going for a sec. There we go. So now this isn't backing up so much. So the next time these lights change here, these cars that are coming straight on, I've got plenty of places to go. They're just waiting to cross over here for the lights to change. Here they come. Any second now. Here they come. Look, these trucks here are coming. Why are they going so slow? There's like hardly any of them getting out. It's like two. What are they doing? It's just like one at a time, two at a time. That is really weird. That is really weird. There's something odd going on here. Okay, I think I fixed it. I just got node controller and just slightly widened this node a bit. And now the cars aren't stopping. They're going through. So look at that. They're going through and going up there. So this bit is cleared, which means this bit is cleared, which means this bit isn't going to get so busy. Let's just see what these are doing here. Yeah, they're all like police cars getting in each other's way. I'm just going to... Uh, oh, I've got an old version of Node Controller there. That's weird. Um, let's just ever so slightly do that. So this isn't so busy. Excellent. Well, there's one little tweak. I'm not saying this is all totally fixed because there's still... We've gone up like 5%. Still a lot of traffic going on here. We might just need to keep an eye on this. Let's just see where these guys are going. See, these are going everywhere. And there's a lot of traffic coming out of here. I'm just thinking of just changing what they can do. And then I might just go off and upgrade my mods. <laughs> I'm saying no straight over for you, just left or right. And I think that should be some sort of asymmetric road as well. Yeah. So you can go left or right, and then you can come down there and go in. Why did that show me that and that? That's what I'm doing wrong. There we go. I'm a complete numbskull. Excellent. So they're not going to cross over. Oh, look at this lane here. Look, it's empty now almost. Oh, all the traffic's come through. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Well, could we do the same going the other way? Look, these aren't getting across. Let's give these some dedicated lanes as well. So I would say if you're going to cross over the traffic, which this one is going to do, you have your own lane. If you're going to go straight... See, they're all just turning now. Sorry, I forced you to go that way. If you're going to go straight on or take the quick corner... Then you can share lanes, that's fine. And then coming down here. So you two are going straight on. We might as well make that a dedicated lane, but it's not going to let me because you've done this. Ooh, okay. Let's take that out and say you just go that way. Yeah, that should be better. Then coming down here, we might as well do a dedicated lane for that one as well. And then coming up here, we'll get to the end. And you've got dedicated lanes for all the things. So that's good. That's good. And then this is just sort of getting a bit busy because of these people coming up. Ideally, what I'd like to see in a junction like this 
is if there's time traffic lights and they change and the traffic starts building up behind the red light that it doesn't go any further than the next junction because then it starts causing problems so like the traffic backing up here it's okay in my mind as soon as it starts going down the highway then that is causing issues do you know what i want to do here i want to see how you've got this set up so yeah here we've got one dedicated lane going off and two going straight on and you're forcing that all the way back to here but not here and you're oh what the heck <laughs> oh overuse of the lane connectors we all love that don't we oh that is too much so at some point you've had traffic and you've just come through and done the overuse of the lane connectors but it all basically comes down to this up here not being able to get out enough and oh my goodness the lane connectors Ooh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> too many you don't need to do this much dedicated lanes lane maths and all that sort of thing i just need another sip of tea so you've got lane three is going just right lane two is going just right but lane one is going left and right we don't need that um i just want to see where most of these cars want to go so quite a lot want to go right quite a lot want to go left and quite a lot are not going anywhere because i've just changed the lanes so now they're going to get their dedicated lanes see why that hardly went as well it's like this bit for these people coming up here is not long enough right let's just keep an eye on this and that's only showing two lanes as well we've got three lanes on here look one two three so something isn't right now they're using all three lanes which is good okay let's just keep a quick eye on this that seven and they can't get through oh, because of this here yeah it hasn't automatically updated the lights that is annoying see normally if you haven't got i bet it's to do with having more than one time traffic light in a group so when you change the lanes it's not automatically updating the amount of lights there are because we should have three here one for left right and straight on but anyway they can't get out because of this going down here which this here they don't need to stop in the middle um so i mean that's gonna only help a tiny bit but if we just say go straight through look you might as well just use up that little bit of extra space now some of these can come out look and now some of them can pick the extra lane they want to go let's just see if you've got oh you have you've got all of this going on we don't need it you just don't need it so these two here can choose whether to go straight on uh we don't need that one now actually yeah i'll give you that one because you want them to pick their node here so they can pick their node and come out and go left right and straight on here they can pick it here which some of these are doing look and now they're going straight on which is good which is what you need this here we don't need because you've got the dedicated lane for going off and going on this is okay although you don't you don't really need it but I'll, we'll have it there so it's just basically look oh, oh look look this is moving already this is moving much better already i might just leave that so you don't need that there's nowhere else they can go and we're gonna just have that as a go straight through i can see why you probably have actually to stop them changing lanes in the middle there but they're not gonna do it hey what you're cutting across the median what the heck are you doing oh auto save i'm gonna need all the sips of tea i can get in this one i tell you okay i think this might be so look at that no traffic coming down here no traffic coming up there it's just the stuff going this i don't want to leave this section until we've cracked whatever it is that's causing the issue i think it's this here not getting long enough to go so what number are they four and then they're stopping here see that to me that time traffic light you've got them linked up in a series but it's not doing it right because they're coming through and only getting as far as here i'm not a expert on time traffic lights but i would expect if you're going to use them you want it all to go through the whole system or at least a lot of it but look by the time this one goes here going from left to right which is number whichever it is it's going to come up in a minute there we go like that i don't want them stopping at the next light otherwise why bother having them as time traffic lights there we go now they're going on again and now these are stopping so in my mind that's not quite right as this is moving a bit better now we're going to just leave that little bit what are we at 36 percent and just see whether once all of this traffic has gone down how far out the city is this going now oh mama oh mama it's still going <laughs> we'll see how that goes we'll see how that goes
you know what I might just actually do as well is this row that's coming up here, you've got one coming off, splitting into two, splitting into three. What you can do um, is if we grab this three-lane road here, so I'm going to upgrade the one before. Yeah, I'm going to anarchy that in, and I'm going to turn off collision. Yeah, so we're going to have three lanes coming up before. Just to give that extra bit of space, then if I turn that on and use the move it mod, there we go, just get rid of the trees. Excellent. Oh, actually, that is not right at all there. Hold on one second. There we go. I want it as a bridge. Then we'll put collision on again and use the move it mod to go ping, ping, and it just gets rid of the trees that are in the way. There we go. Excellent. So that now gives extra space for them to stack up back to here. And then what you can do is so they don't lane switch in the middle is do that. So when they come up here, they'll pick a node, and now we've got more space. So if we just speed that up a bit. There we go. More space for stacking up the cars. And you're just going to get more cars off the highway, which is ideally what we want to get. More cars moving, more cars moving. Okay. Right. Let's find another little spot. Oh, look. So satisfying seeing all this was red before, and it's not anymore. Look at that. Barely any red left in the city. Let's have a look at this little junction down here and see if we can sort of get our eyeballs around what's going on. So we can see a lot of these cars are going down. They're stopping here. There's like one. What is this road here for? Okay, that is just not needed at all. So we're going to get rid of that. Because that's stopping them all from going through here, which is a bit odd. Uh, let's have a look at what lanes we've got set up here. So we've got one for left, two for straight on. We don't need the one for right now. So they all can go straight on, which is good. Then one coming off, two going on. And actually, yeah, that's fine. And then when they come around here, got any hawky Borky lane switching? I've got a little bit of hawky Borky lane switching here and here. And then we've got right, left, straight. This, this bit here. So what have we got? Let's just have a look. We haven't got any lane what's it. We haven't got any traffic lights. This, to me, perhaps could do with being a roundabout. There's a lot of traffic coming down. A lot of traffic coming up that's using this sort of cut through here. I think we need to put a little roundabout in here. So we're only going to lose a couple of houses um, which I don't think is too bad. We'll just probably even make that a little bit smaller. Yeah, let's do that. Which is two roads and it's all raised up in the air. Let's fix that. That's no problem. I don't know where all the roads are in this one. I'm using their pack that they've got set up so let's go like that let's get it back down to the road and we're going to go three lane so as always you want uh, one extra lane on the roundabout than what's coming in so there's two lanes coming in here we've got only one lane coming in here yeah that's all okay that's fine and then we're going to use this here control shift left click there we go so if you notice it stopped lane changing right before it stops lane changing on any nodes on the roundabout got dedicated lanes going off got giveaway signs coming on and we've got that little bit of road there that i didn't fix there we go and that should be okay let's just do that again there we go excellent so now let's just have a look at the speeds 50 coming in 60 on there yeah that's okay it still fits in, still looks okay. Everything's lined up properly. So now this is going to keep moving down here. And it doesn't matter now if you've got a little bit of lane switching in the nodes. We've got like a node there and a node here because there's no traffic. So they're not getting in each other's way. Just spotted here. We really need control. Oh, let's do this. Dedicated lane for going right would be much better. And then hopefully this can just keep moving. This road's so small. What sort of road is this? This is this one here. Two lane country road. I'm just going to do this and give it an asymmetric extra road for coming out. And that's just like confused everybody. They're like, what do we do now? There we go. So now anybody coming out can get out quicker. And ideally down here, I mean, this is a bike road. We do have asymmetric ones with bikes on. Oh, I wish I'd set all these menus up the same as i've got them on my i've got two steam accounts going on here and uh, i'm gonna do that for that one and just hope that it doesn't i mean it's not messing up a bike network because people can still cycle even without the little bike lane things on there so that's fine um okay any other thing we've got yeah people are still crossing over there which they shouldn't be doing if we turn that off so we might just need to put in some pedestrian bridges. Let's do that. What the heck is this? 
We're taking people to another dimension with this one. Yeah, there we go. Not necessarily the tidiest, but it's now going to stop people crossing over, which means the traffic can just keep moving. They're not going to stop for people, and they can still get all over the roads where they want to go. If anybody wants to change that up, that's fine. Um, but that just gives you the idea of what's going to help. Now, this is all cleared up. Uh, this is okay. We do have some hawky walky lane switching going on in the middle here, which I'm going to say no. So when they come up here, they'll pick their nodes. Um, what have we got here? Two left and two right. Let's do dedicated lanes for you guys. Oh, there we go. A couple of things have been upgrading while I've been playing, which is good. Um, up here, what have we got? Straight on, we don't need anymore. So that's just left and right. Is this a traffic light? I think it is, because we've got these cars coming off here. Then they go under the bridge here. We've got dedicated lanes for everything, which is good. Um, let's check this one. So, yeah, straight on. We might as well add, add straight on there. Um, here we've got... Yeah, let's do a dedicated lane for you. Can I not pick that? Oh, I bet I know why. Hey! Ho! <laughs> there we go. We can delete that. It, what, it's funny, once you put that in... When you delete it, the lines, the lanes still all go to the place you told them to go. Um, so even if I just change that one, the rest will still go where you told them to go. So whoever put all those things in, don't feel bad that I'm removing them all. Don't feel bad. So again, we're going to have the one that's cutting across the traffic have its own lane. So we'll have those like that. And that should then... It's, you know, there's no traffic coming into it this way. Hardly any coming into it this way. Nothing coming into it this way. Nothing. Yeah, that that to me, sixty six percent. That to me is so much better. And then that has the knock on effects of helping with lots of other places. This is still getting quite busy here. I'm assuming this is probably a time traffic line. Let's just have a quick look. See, it's done. Is that part of a? See, that's part of a thing again. And because I've upgraded this, it's not giving each lane its own thing can i turn that off so that's a bit annoying i think that's a bug i have to report that yeah see there's only one let's just watch it a sec anyway yeah so that's this one over here then those two can go they're both straight on let's speed it up here we go coming up to this one so yeah they're all going at the same time whereas this one could have gone earlier quite easily so what we could do now now there's not so much traffic down here so i'm going to stop this i'll show you what i mean uh, remove junction from this traffic light so we're going to click on that one so that now is separate from these ones we'll leave those ones alone so if i now do this and do a control click quick setup there we go now we're going to get here a dedicated right and a straight on so at some point that right's going to start going without the straight on there we go when it can which means we're going to be getting through more traffic quicker. So, yeah, that is a slight little bug. I will pass that on to the traffic manager devs. But now we should see, look, this isn't half as bad as it was before. Whoops, one button. Is this one here as well? No, what is this here? Is this some sort of traffic light? It's a normal traffic light. Well, how about we do a... There we go. Automatic quick traffic light thingy there. So that's okay. These are oh, these are pause. Uh, let's put these back on again. Start. There we go. I was thinking, oh, it's all looking okay. It's because I'd uh, pause the traffic lights. <laughs> so that should tell you something. Maybe it doesn't need the traffic lights. See now, what's going to happen is these are not are no longer part of a set because I've messed with them. I'm just wondering whether we should stop or is that all of them just gone anyway? And just do Control Left Click and just put them in there in the automatic way rather than trying to sort of link them all in series that might not be the best idea let us just keep an eye on this sort of junction here but at least now we're going to get dedicated lanes look left right and straight on and then there will be points where these will go when the others don't there we go right's going but there's nobody turning right okay well you get the idea anyway, but yeah, let's just keep an eye on just this little section down here for a moment or two. Yeah, I can see why they're in a series, because what's happening is the traffic's coming down the highway, loads of people want to come off. And then it's that effect that we weren't getting in the other traffic lights in the series that you really need here. So what you need is for when these go, is to go here, 
go here and go here so then all of this can come down and go but it's not happening um actually it's going down now i think what's happening is it's letting other traffic get through as much as it needs to but as that traffic goes down like there's no traffic here anymore which means these will run for a little bit longer which means when they do more of these will come out and look it's not backed up on the highway now so i've just talked my way out of worrying about that it's busy it's always going to be a busy junction but look at that that is just moving nicely this is all moving down here that is fantastic this is freeing up where's the one we were looking at before this one down here is still super busy what are we at overall we can't see that way can we what are we at overall oh there we go it's 73 percent i think we still need to sort of tweak something down here right this one coming out here look it's blocking up the trams for a start which ain't good so let's just tell these guys do not we shouldn't go across there and block it anyway so i'm going to make you give way because you're look causing all sorts of issues and then when you come up here there is dedicated lanes uh, there is sorry asymmetrical rows but one of them is a straight over which i don't think we want i want you to come out and then go into here and then turn well, they're, funnily enough, there's no left turn here to get in. Yeah, okay, well, we're going to fix that. Let's fix that, which, again, is going to cause a bit of an issue with the time traffic lights because they're not going to auto-update themselves, are they? Yeah, which is a bit of a pain. But then we're going to turn off straight over on there. And then we're also going to say that's fine. And then what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to move this down a bit. What I want is more place for the cars to stack up here. So I'm going to just move that all the way down there. So now they can stack up even further. Because going this way, they don't need much space to stack up. These blimmin' police cars stop blocking the Rodney Rose. That would be great. And we've got this right here with tons of people coming out. Why are so many people coming down here? Is this like the only way in and out of like a whole section or something? See, all of this connects up there. No, they've got other roads. They're just choosing to come up here for some reason. Okay, well, let's see what happens. And hopefully... Oh, look at this bit here. Look, 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 look. Is it not backing up out of the city anymore? <gasps> oh, we fixed it. We fixed that bit. So that all those people that were coming... Where were they coming off? Coming off down over here. Yeah, look, they're all going. So that is good. It's just these people coming up here and these coming this side that are causing more problems, I reckon. Look, hang on. Are you trying to... No, let's do that again. Are you trying to go straight over? You are. Yeah, you can turn right. You can turn right or left and stop straight going straight over. And you can find other places to turn around and come back. There's so many other places you can go around and come back. That needs emptying. Okay. Somebody's going to hate me. Um... I'm going to try and get these traffic lights to work without being all in parallel. I'm so sorry, whoever set this all up. Um, I'm going to remove this one from here. Like that. Because it's not auto-updating. Oh, I want to start these up again. And then I'm going to do a control left click quick setup on that one there. And then we get all dedicated lights for all the different directions, which is so much better. Um, and this has got a straight on on it, which it shouldn't have. But that would have automatically been updated. Uh, it's still got a straight on on it. What? No. <laughs> shouldn't be doing that. Okay, let's stop that one. Let's remove it. Let's do that. Why is it still getting straight on? Oh, what? What is going on? Is it when I'm putting the traffic light in, it's automatically adding... A straight on there when we don't need it. I think it is, but the other two have still got their own thing, so that's fine. And I just want to see whether doing that just helps this area a little bit. So let's just keep an eye on this for a few minutes. Yeah, so the interesting thing I'm seeing, when you sort of get this top-down view, you can get a better idea of what's going on. Look, this isn't backing up as much now, which is great. But a lot of cars are coming down here. They're coming through this junction, and most of them want to turn to get off down here. And when the lights change, only like two or three of them get through at a time. And there's only one lane for turning up here into this one lane when those lights change. 
So in my mind, to help these people get out onto the highway, look, they get one, two, three, four, five. They just keep stopping. Oh, I wonder whether we could just do a little something there with the node controller again. Just enough to stop them from stopping. Still doing it. Look, stopping, going, stopping, going, stopping. If they could just went, <laughs> that would make so much difference. Um, I mean, normally you don't want to just put that on, which is the just keep going through the junction, whether it's busy or not. There's probably a shorter name for that. But now they'll just go. Look, there we go. And more get through. Look at that. And now you can see them all diving out of here. Look, suddenly now these can get out because they've got somewhere to go. I think between that, we might solve this issue. And now, look, all the um, uh, trams. I was say monorail, no. Cable car, no. Train, no. Now all the trams are going. And this bit's a bit less busier here, which means these can get through. So, yeah, I mean... Maybe whoever set all of these up could just keep an eye on the things, the changes that I've done and why, and then implement that back in with the time traffic lights. I think putting the two things together, you could have this section here completely running free. Yeah, look, I just spotted over here. We need another lane. We've got a lane doing two things here. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, we need to change that, definitely. Um, so if I pick this one here, we, we want straight on to have their own lane. So we need some sort of asymmetrical road here. Yeah, we're going to grab this one. We're going to just upgrade the end of that. It looks a bit odd, doesn't it? There might be a better asymmetrical choice for that, but that is what I'm going to go for now. If somebody wishes to change it, you can obviously see what I'm doing still. Remove a junction. Remove that. So the only one left in this section is like this one over here. Yeah, okay. Um, and then we're going to put our own one in here. So then we get all the dedicated lanes. So that's the thing to look out for. When you set up the time traffic lights, make sure you've got all the dedicated lanes that you need. We'll get that one going there. You can go straight through. You can go straight through. I don't want you crossing in that middle of that section. You can go straight through. So that should start filling up. And what I might do now is set those just to keep going a bit quicker. Oh, we've got some node... Switching. I only want you to go there and there. And I want you to go there. Is that going to be a problem? Because you can pick your node here, can't you? Which one you want to go in. I feel like we need to extend this three-lane road down to here even further. But we'll leave it like that. Man, you could just fiddle with this for like the rest of your life, couldn't you? What are we up to? 84%? What? No. No way. So this is all okay. We've still got no despawning. Uh, this is okay. It's just busy. That's fine. Look, that's fine. This is the bit we've been looking at, isn't it? So we'll just ignore that rather than keep looking at the same thing. This is all fine. This is fine. This up here was getting pretty busy. But actually, now that we've cleared out the highway, they can actually get out and go. So that makes all the difference in the world, doesn't it? Uh, this little roundabout we put in. Not maybe the tidiest thing. But like I said, the guys can come along and take the idea and make it look nicer. We're not here to make things look nice. We're here to make things work. Which means that's not backing up down here. This little bit here we were looking at. Yeah, there we go. So this is now working much better. Now the, now the traffic lights each can do a... Wah! Words in the right order make much better sense. It's because I run out of tea. I'm going to get another cup of tea. I'll be back with you. Yes, yeah, that time traffic lights thing I was telling you about. So now all the lanes have got their own individual part of the traffic light system. All of that's moving fine. And again, look, the traffic's backing up, but it's not going much further than the junction. This is quite a small junction, and they're getting through anyway. That's fine. I'm, I'm pleased with that. That's no problem at all. I am really pleased. So really, it is just this little bit here. I mean, we're at 82%, which is pretty darn good. I would not complain at that. Okay, so before we had Taurus 923. So that's gone down a bit. Um, 2081. So this has gone down a bit as well. So to me, that perhaps says they can use their cars more. So they're happy to go out and get in their cars, perhaps. Um, is there any? Oh my goodness, so many vehicles. Also, what it might mean is because we've turned off despawning that we're getting 
traffic on tram lines. But actually, we can easily check that. No, look, they're all spread out. They're all moving. Which is great. I'm not going to touch that one. That was the Highland line. Let's have a look at the Federal line. They're all spread out and they're all moving. And you might even want a couple more on there. Which is fine. So we're going to leave that. Uh, buses. Yeah, I can see probably that one's going to need a few more buses. Definitely. So let's just up that a little bit. Let's put eight on there. That's okay. 618. Seven for 31. That could probably go down. Lots of half-used buses, so we'll just pop that down to three. Other than that, let's just sort it by the most passengers. Yes, that's okay. They're all getting their needs taken care of. Maybe a couple more on there. Let's go to 16. Why not? I'm really, really pleased with that. Do you know what I'm just going to do? I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes off camera just seeing if I can finally get this. Oh, all I want is for it not to back up just past this junction here okay is that hawky balky lane switching mm -hmm. it is so that's gonna go there that's gonna go there and this one is gonna go there and there would that work better just so they're not blocking each other that's what i don't want is anybody blocking each other like this car was trying to get over too much Okay, I'm in the middle of making a little change here. So this little section here had too many road connections down here. It had one, two, and three. I've removed two of them. Uh, the one I've left is opposite this junction here, which isn't too busy. So this is pretty busy. We want this to keep moving. This is pretty busy. We want this to keep moving. And there's not that many people living in here. They can get them up this way if they need to. And if they need to come down here, I've just added a little asymmetrical road coming out. And that just seems to be working so much better. If we go into this view, so this is not backed up down here half as much. Um, there's less weight now on the time traffic lights because there's only it's only a, a T-junction. So these are going to get through quicker. These are going to get through quicker. These are going to get through quicker because I'm sort of counting that as a T-junction because all we've got in here is like a little shopping area. There's hardly anybody coming around here. And as you can see, there's hardly any cars coming out at all. Which is good, which means all of this will start going through a bit better. I've also taken this larger road and extended it all the way down to this junction and down to here as well. So there's more space to fit cars in, as you can see, whizzing through there. So even though it's not perfect, it is not that bad at all. And if we look at the traffic, over 80% is always good for me so i'm pleased about that i'm just worried about this little section down here now i've said that what are these people doing what is this this is like a residence that's a residence so people who work here are struggling to get in and out what i'm going to do is say you just go straight over there and there i've already set that to just go straight through and then when you come up here you can pick a node to go somewhere different and then if cars stop pulling out of there and getting in each other's way, this should all just go down. I don't want this backing up to the junction. That's the point. There we go. That's not too bad. This is backing up quite far up here. I think this doesn't have an asymmetrical road. It doesn't. And are they turning left and right? They are. Let's just stick an asymmetrical road on the end there. There we go. Yeah, and a few minutes later, this is clearing up. That is not too bad. That's not going that far. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased with the way this has turned out. It's always hard, you know, taking someone else's map where they built stuff. And particularly where it's so detailed. I don't want to just sort of rip roads out and change it all. But I'm so glad I've been able to use the tools that we have to get the traffic from, what was it? 30% up to... 80% or thereabouts in no despawning mode. I think that, I think that is pretty good. If that isn't good, I don't know what is. Leave a like if you think that's good. Let me know in the comments as well what do you think about this fix. And thank you for watching. Don't forget, I will put a uh, list to uh, all the videos in this series in the description below. So you can go and check out what the other guys think of the uh, changes that I've done. And to continue following the 5 Builders 1 City series. Thanks very much for your support. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.